Hello everybody, assalamu alaikum. This is a new video about limits using the epsilon delta definition. Actually, this limit is a little bit hard. We, we have to find a tricky to uh, be able to answer this, this question. In the neighborhood of zero, at zero, sine x is equal to x minus x power 3 over 3 factorial plus x power 3 epsilon of x such that the limit of epsilon of x is equal to 0 when x goes to 0. This is a, a part of a polynomial approximation of the sine x, and this is the remainder, uh, epsilon of x. We can, we can calculate the explicit it exactly, so we can give an ex expression of this, this uh, epsilon of x uh, under a form of integral, for example, and uh, so on. In this case, uh, it is sufficient that epsilon of x goes to uh, 0, 1, uh, x goes to 0. So we have the limit of epsilon of x equal to 0, 1, x goes to 0. This means that, this means that for all alpha greater than 0, there exists beta which depends on alpha, greater than zero, such that for all x in the domain of definition, and it uh, verifies absolute value of x less than, less than beta of alpha, this implies that sine x, that this implies that epsilon of x absolute value is less than alpha. This is true for all alpha positive. We can find a, a rank such that before uh, under this rank we have this estimation. This is true for all alpha. So if we take alpha equals to one. In this case, this implies that there exists beta which depends on 1 greater than 0, such that for all x which verify less than beta of 1, this implies that epsilon of x is less than 1. Keep this safe. So we have to keep this safe. The limit, this limit, converge to uh, 1 when x goes to 0. So we need to prove that this limit of sine x over x equal to 1, this is equivalent to prove that for all epsilon greater than 0, uh, can we find the delta which depends on epsilon? such that what, such that this epsilon and this are the same, they are not the same. To avoid this problem, we can, we can call this, we can call this h of x, h of x, and here we have h of x, and here we have h of, of x, and here we have h of x. For all epsilon greater than zero, can we find delta of epsilon such that for all x in the domain of definition and verify x less than delta of epsilon? This implies that what? This implies that the uh, sine x uh, divided by x minus 1 means this less than epsilon. 
let us start from this one and put condition since it is a, a, a sufficient condition. We have sine x minus x over x. This is equal to to x minus x power three six plus x three h of x minus x divided by over by x, which is equal to here we can take we simplify x with minus x and we take x squared uh, out of the absolute value since it is positive so we get minus 1 6 plus h of x and this is less than or equal to x squared plus uh, times times 1 over 6 plus absolute value of each, each of x. But this value is less than or equal to x squared times 1 over 6 plus what? We suppose that for x less than beta of 1, each of x is less than 1. So we take this condition into account and here we say that let it let let it be less than epsilon if it is less than epsilon this will implies that the absolute value of x is less than what less than the square root of of uh, of epsilon over one over six plus one if we take this as the delta of epsilon, we will, we will be able to formulate the following uh, proposition. Uh, indeed, indeed, for all epsilon greater than zero, we can find delta of epsilon, which is the minimum between, between beta of one, beta of one, and, and this one, and the square root of epsilon over 1 over 6 plus 1, such that for all x in the domain of definition and such, the absolute value of x is less than of delta epsilon, this implies that what? This implies that sine x over x uh, minus 1 is less than epsilon and this is exactly the meaning of the limit of sine x over x is equal to 1 1 x goes to 0 this finish this uh, exercise thank you very much see you next time